What's up guys, it's your boy MacoP96 and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add color correction in virtual dub and how to add color correction in Sony Vegas so first off what you're going to want to do is open up your clip so copy what I'm doing okay let's find a clip let's add any clip in doesn't really matter let's do battlefield 3 okay as you can see some nice um, thing here a nice clip so press video filters and you add all the filters you need and then you add after at the end HSV adjust and then you press show preview and watch this if I put the saturation to max you can see the colors are more vibrant and everything is more saturated what you're going to want to do is add about 135 or times 135 that looks really nice and there you go you can see that is really better and then you press file save as AVI you save it as whatever you like and then you know you save it and there you go and then you drag it you find you open that clip and you drag it you, you click or click on it and you open it up in here and it should come up and like, as you can see look at this that is really nice quality I mean um, everything is readable and um, if you look at my settings it's a 1280 by 720 25 32 bit floating rain, floating point 2.222 best Gaussian as a, as a metric none start apply okay then you, there you go that's it really guys and if you want to add um, color correction in Vegas um, personally I add brightness and contrast let's drag default on and um, watch the screen really carefully so you add 0 0.1 okay hit enter and everything becomes darker and then you add go to the saturation adjust press the add default on it like drag and drop default onto the clip anywhere the video anywhere it could be anywhere but to add one so you delete that okay um go to boost midtones it's that one and then I always add 0 0.05 of low and 0 0.6 of that yeah and that is really that's fine for me and then that's it guys and let, let's compare the video okay split screen view look at this it's really um it's quite it's quite dark well dull and if I press this button you can see it's really saturated looks really nice let's do the other side and um, the right half and there you go let's skip okay skip ahead um look you can look at this now look at this here it's quite blue and if I press that it becomes like dark and dull there you go and um, if you want you can add sharpness press drag default on top and there you go that, that would look nice yep and then you press file render as Let's wait for it to load um, I always do 5 megabits per second HD 720 25p video and there you go already guys and um, you know drag that up to 100 and that I'm best press ok so it's what you type what you want sorry so let's put in saturation and there you go press render and let it render ok guys thanks for watching guys um, let me know about any more tutorials you want to see and I'll get straight ahead so any more easy cut questions do not hesitate to mess message me and you know guys tell other people about me tell your friends about me tell family about me you know get my um subscriber base going i mean um i'm still making videos and i've got a, quite a lot on my plate at the moment like school and stuff so um i really do appreciate if you could help me out and you know um you help me i help you out guys so yeah um another commentary coming up right now as well and uploading right now so yeah 13 minutes remaining that would be quite nice and that will come up soon so yeah all right Thank you guys, thanks for watching. Let's try and get 20 likes on this video. Alright, peace.